Welcome builders, Andy is your here. We're gonna be building something really, really big in the kingdom today. Well, we're gonna be making a start. What do you think this is? Sneak preview right there. We'll come back to that later on in the video. Hey, welcome back to the kingdom. We have been building all sorts of incredible creations in this kingdom together, taking your ideas from the comments and turning them into a giant town, city, or kingdom, whatever you think it should be called. So we're going to zoom in today, do a couple of tidy up jobs on some housing, some paths, and the animal farm area. We're going to be upgrading, finally, 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 this. We're going to be upgrading the library today, one of our first buildings uh, in the city. And we're also going to be doing some housing and some shops or stores where you can come and buy stuff. Anyway. We've got some sheepies, we've got some piggies. We need to give them somewhere to roam about. So I'm just increasing this kind of field space area, plenty of hay for them to chomp on as well. And I'm gonna build a little kind of a farmer's hut here. Teeny tiny, very simple Mojang style, a five by five build house. And all the builds in this kingdom use my five by five, five, five building system. Makes them look quite plain, quite ordinary, quite mojangy, but it makes them look like original Minecraft and I do like that about this system. It makes it look Minecrafty and not pretending that the game is something else. I like that about my system. Anyway, um, if you'd like to find out more about my five by five builds, then check out the playlists in the description below. Right, let's zoom in on this build. Now, this is a house. Well, what I'm doing is taking this house, which we built in a previous episode, and we're giving it a makeover. We're adding on some extra roofage, some extra floor space, and some extra kind of canopy uh, area here with some awning on top made out of uh, yellow and cyan carpets. And I'm whizzing a boot like a little mad yellow flea um, to create a little area out there which we can later on put some detail in. And this is going to be a store. You walk up to it, you can see the big sign on the front of the store where you could put, if you're selling chests or something, or you're selling zombie heads, I don't know what you'd sell in a village like this, um, you can put those on the sign that's sticking out the front of that. So it's taking in a, a build that we've already made and giving it an upgrade. So as you can see, we've got two stores, three stores so far, and I'm just kind of moving it into place, extending the canal. The canal could be, I think, a good source of where the goods could float along uh, a good transport system for these stores. Okay, we're upgrading our paths. Now, upgrading the roads. So I'm making this out of a mixture of polished andesites for the side of the road and, no, not andesite, polished granite for the side of the road and simply some nice pinky granite for the middle of the road. Quick adjustment to the gate to make it sure the gate was centered on the five by five system and then an increase in the paths. What do you think of the kingdom so far? Let me know in the comments. I do love reading your comments and I read every single comment. I've always read every single comment on my YouTube channel. I'll heart the best ones and I'll reply to as many as I can, especially for the first hour after one of my videos come out. If you're in the notification squad, if you've got your notifications set properly, um, then you can get a comment from me within the first hour of one of my videos being released. It's something new I'm kind of trying on my videos. Uh, as you can see, I did four more stores there. Four more stores, which is really cool indeed. And I'm going to add a few more very, very simple houses. This is about as simple as you can get a little cross-shaped house. Very, very simple indeed. Uh, but they fill in just a little teeny tiny area here. I guess they would fill in um, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, about 13 or 14 squares. Yeah, about 13 or 14 square. So it's a very, very simple, very small house. I've managed to fit another one in there. And the really cool thing about it is it, it opens right onto the street. And we've got another one in there just filling in all these little gaps. And when you add houses together uh, and place them next to each other, you get little beautiful gaps, little three wide gaps in between the houses. Obviously, I've got a seven wide gap here because this is a big, big path. I'm going to take the camera, kind of a zoom along the path as if we were actually one of the citizens here in the town. Um, so, yeah, we've got seven wide paths and a seven wide gap in this kind of market area here. But the normal gap between the houses there, as you can see, is a three wide gap. Okay, very, very quick bit of speeded up footage here. I'm just increasing the paths, upgrading the paths in our system, in our kingdom here, taking away the normal kind of path block 
or as many of them as I could get my hands on and upgrading them to this beautiful granite. And I love this pinky granite. I think it's a nice uh, block for our roads. Okay, so uh, an extra kind of peek around the city here as I just finish off some paths and tidy up bits and pieces with some grass. What we can do is now move on to the library. I know a lot of you have been getting involved in the comments saying, oh Andy, upgrade the, the, the library, make it kind of a mage this, a mage that, a wizard's hut, I don't know. I'm just gonna make it a library right now. We may put a mage tower on top of it later on, uh, but I was kind of making it a bit bigger the library house. This is the Mojang Village Library House. I made it a bit bigger, a bit wider. Now it kind of conforms to the the 5x5 five five system. It's kind of nine blocks by uh, nine blocks. I think it's kind of a square house at this point. Anyway, as you can see, I moved the walls and I'm moving the walls even further out to give us enough space for this library. Of course, I can do this because I'm using World Edit. Uh, which is a command set of commands available for PC Java edition servers and big shout out to the server I'm building this on and building this on builders refuge the builders refuge server so my plan for the library is a big circular dome shape in the middle with three of the Mojangy library bits on the outside and it's decided to use a different block for the library than anywhere else in the kingdom to make it a very special build I'm using sandstone and I'm just giving uh, the dome some nice detailed walls with chiseled sandstone and smooth sandstone. And then I'm adding kind of a layer, a skin of sandstone around these sections here and just altering the windows to my liking. Okay, once that was done, I made a big sphere in the sky, got half the sphere and brought it down and thumped it right down on to the top of the library. And I was very lucky it actually fitted. Okay, we're going to zoom inside the library and see some of the interior detail now. Of course, pretty much just books. <laughs> That's all you're going to see inside a library, I would hope. Where else do you get in the library these days? Computers, a lot of computers these days. But anyway, not in this village. Okay, so that's a sneak preview and we'll be delving down first person building um, with just first person commentary in the middle of the library a little bit later on in the video. In fact, just a couple of minutes time. Uh, so just to finish this library off, I'm going to go for a tower on top. Didn't like the first design I came up with, so I'm just going to scrap that and go for more of a 5x5ish five five design and have it kind of open at the top with a kind of a, a peaky point on top. I do like it. Very smart, and um, yeah, I'm really happy with this library. I thought it turned out pretty nicely. We might add some extra trim or something to the roof. Yeah, looking at it now, some little trim going straight up from the sticky out bits up to the top tower would be a nice addition. So maybe I'll do that in the next episode. Okay, slowing the camera down, just watching the last few details of the path being made, and there is the front of the library. Okay, so this is, this is the bit that I was uh, showing you at the very start of the video. Thank you so much for watching uh, all the way through. If you don't skip the video, that really does help me. So anytime any you skip the video, it kind of harms my chances on YouTube. Anyway, I flattened out the ground and we're bringing down... What is this? What are we bringing down? Of course, you guys guessed it. This is actually a cathedral. So I destroyed the little church. I don't know if you noticed that, but the little teeny tiny church was destroyed. So I guess the kingdom citizens got a bit annoyed and we went, no, we're going to build a cathedral. And this is the cathedral for my seven upgrade churches video. Link to that in the description. Shameless plug for another video right there, but check it out. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to build the entire cathedral. I'm going to take a few episodes to build the cathedral because I think that's really, really important because cathedrals take a long, long time to build, that's for sure. Okay, welcome to a slower part of the video. The last sort of five, ten minutes here, we're going to add some detail in personally by hand, uh, bit by bit. Let's quickly have a look at the cathedral first person as well, uh, give you a nice close look up. So I want to introduce these parts um, of the video at the end where we just get a, a bit more of a closer look at things and add in more detail by hand. So yeah, that's a little close look at that for you and a little close look down through here, a little zoom about, show you guys what is what. So um, some news as well, I'm going to be building another kingdom like this, but I'm going to be building it on live streams and it's going to be with you guys. It's going to be, well, some of you anyway, whoever is my Patreon. If you're a Patreon on patreon.com forward slash Andy Joda, I'm going to be building a, a new 
place just like this um, with Patreons. So if you want to build right beside me and build in the 5x5 style, think you've got it in you, then sign up to patreon.com forward slash Andy Isura, at least tier two or above. And uh, yeah, news of that coming very soon indeed. So I've just taken off shaders there so you can see exactly what I'm doing on the inside. It is a little dark in here, nevertheless. Let me put that down there and grab a torch. And I'm just gonna scatter a few torches about just to make sure the whole place it's kind of lit up as well. Wow, very, very dark up here like that. So there we go. Okay, cool. So first of all, I've got an awful lot of books all over the place. And I'm thinking of making kind of an upper gallery for all these books. So let's see um, if we can do that. So this is going to come up here like that. Dun, 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 dun. So high, how high did I make this across here? Really quite far up and into this shape. So this is what I want to try and copy. Um, oh, and I just, I didn't, hmm. Not too sure about that. Yeah, I've, I've sealed this up here. Okay. Well, let's go with it. We'll go with my plan that I did across here. And we're going to do that. And that, and get rid of that torch. And we'll just put a torch back up there, just temporarily. Yeah, that looks looks okay. It's interesting. It's a way of doing it. <laughs> I'm not saying this is the best right now, but we'll just crack on. Um, so that's there, like that. I guess we're going to do these corners as well. Yeah, some sort of upper gallery or platform up here would be quite spectacular, I think. Yeah, I like this so far. Okay, so same sort of deal... Uh, over here, then we can work on the platform. And in here. It's good to be recording first person. I've done an awful lot of time lapses recently, and it's really quite, quite fun to just keep on, you know, do a recording in first person. Let's have just books all around this place. This is going to be... A book-filled library, which is probably a good, <laughs> a good thing for a library, right? You know, fill it with books. Seems to be a sensible plan. Um, that looks okay, like that. And then I guess we'll just leave the door kind of without books, sort of like that. Yeah, that looks fine to me. Right. So we want some sort of platform. I'm thinking this birch is a rather cool looking block that we can maybe put mm, here dun, 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 dun. the platform would be about that sort of height excuse me mr torch there we go what do we think so i'm thinking a birch platform something along those lines so i guess that uh this little birch thing is probably in the wrong place unless we make this wider this could be wider in which case it's probably in the right place after all where are we going we're going right here i think there we go yeah that looks that looks okay so same deal across the other side here oi stay put um so how have we done that that goes like that and like that and like that perfect Okay, and this little bridge is going to come across here. We need to figure out a way of getting up to this. Maybe a spiral staircase, maybe some ladders. Not too sure at this stage. This is going to come across here like this. And I guess we've got the same sort of thing to do right here, right? Same deal. Hopefully this is the same kind of thing to do. Now, I notice I just went in there with that block. Um, how come that's even possible? Do we have a difference? I don't think we do have a... If we do have a difference, this should be coming up here like that. Detailing a library with Andy Zora. This is fun. I am I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying this Kingdom series. Hopefully you are as well. Let's have this come right across here. And we can join it on to the other side. And I have a feeling that this is in... Hmm. Is this in the wrong place? It feels like it's in the wrong place. Yeah, I think this needs to come out to here. Is 
that looks a lot lot better that looks yeah this is this is decent and actually this should definitely come along there like that and i think we should have that there because i'm going to put a little barrier on that some little uh, fence posts i think would look very smart over there so uh okay same deal over here so it's in this line is that the right place for it i think that is the right place okay same deal over here let's get this done nice and quickly connects up there we've got that bit in there we can put a little barrier on that i think a spiral staircase is kind of what i'm thinking at this stage let's grab you uh yeah that that looks that looks good to me yeah pretty happy with that so um i'm gonna grab a couple of blocks here so let's grab some nice spruce fences which can go along here so they'll be falling down um over here as well and over here and i guess we're going to have some fences on the inside here what we'll do is actually just make this a bit of a square a bit more boring to have it as a square but it's going to be a lot easier for me <coughs> to do my fences i think oh that works out nicely just hooking in there like that that's not something i've done very often just sort of coming onto that supporting pillar i do like this very much so we don't have any way of getting up here yet <laughs> um hmm. Hmm. I wonder what we do. Maybe we have a spiral staircase right in the middle. That would be kind of funky, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'm just gonna go with my first idea in this furnishing section. We can always come back and give this library an upgrade later on, maybe. So there we go, simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy <clears throat> spiral staircase. Are we up the right height yet? Looks like that is gonna be the correct height here so what we'll do is have a little walkway come across like that and uh, not much health and safety you've got to be a bit careful but never mind <laughs> i'm going to put you on the on top right there so there's our library right um we are going to have some ladders so we're going to have a ladder come up here like that we'll have a ladder on that side we don't need to go up all the way as if a ladder can kind of move along maybe on wheels or something like that quite exciting it's a really good idea. I'll just put you there. Let's have some nice little seats. Oops. Little corner seats. Super cute. Right there in our library. That's the front door. Seat, seat, seat. Little, literally, little reading corners. Have you heard of a reading corner before? A little nook and cranny where you go and read books. I like that. And we'll have uh, maybe some little seats here. Uh, the windows as well looking pretty cool have some over here little seats maybe we could have little tables in between i'm not too sure i don't know about that right now i'm gonna leave that off um let's have a couple of chests like that maybe one or two chests of storage right there and i'm not going to put any more detail in this library that's going to be it if you think i've missed something out that would look cool in this library then do let me know um i am going to just hook up some more torches like that nice and bright and that will do for today's episode as i say i'm going to be building a kingdom with patreon so check out patreon.com forward slash andy zuda for all the rewards you could get by supporting my channel and i will see you in another kingdoms video in a couple of days time thank you very much indeed for watching now you get to see the kingdom without any shaders on bare naked <laughs> ah, shaders see you guys ciao ciao with the blocks be with you